Now, before I get started, I wanted to make it clear that I know the whole whitening and like staying pale or whatever um, is kind of controversial on YouTube. If you look at my one video about how I whitened my skin from like a long time ago, there are like a bunch of comments where like, oh my god, why are you trying to imitate white people? Oh my god, why are you gonna bleach your skin? I'm just like tanning. It's completely personal choice. I'm not endorsing bleaching because the things that I'm going to talk about have no bleaching agents. I think that's completely dangerous for your skin. I understand the whole melanin and protecting your skin, but these are just my tips and I want to make that clear because I'm not trying to offend anyone. If this sort of thing is not for you, then just don't watch, okay? So it finally became uh, warm today in Seoul because I swear to god like winter or just in general cold seasons feel like they last forever in Korea so happy about that I got to wear my shorts today comfortably um, I felt so free but today I'm gonna give you some tips on how I prevent sort of tanning or staying white in the summer now when I say white that completely depends on your own coloring. Some people are paler than others. I'm not the palest person ever. I know I'm pretty yellow skinned, but just take the tips I have with a grain of salt. I don't know if that made sense, but first and the most important thing is sunscreen. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a sin. I don't wear sunscreen as often as I should, even though you should wear it every single day, especially for some with acne prone skin where if you get acne scarring and the second UV lights like hit your skin, the spots turn into a dark spot. Um, so you need to wear sunscreen every day, especially of dark spots because any sort of whitening um, skincare that you use will go to waste because as soon as UV lights hit your skin, it'll reverse and it'll just get dark again. My favorite sunscreen is the Misha All Around Safe Block Essence Sun with SPF 45 PA Triple Plus. And the thing with sunscreens is that whenever you put makeup on top, I feel like by the end of the day, your, cake, your makeup looks kind of cakey because the sunscreen is just absorbing all the moisture. So the thing about this is that it's much thinner than regular um, uh, sunscreen and it has essence in it so it keeps your skin moisturized and I find that makeup sits well on top of this sunscreen so this is good for that and people with drier skins if you have more of an oily skin I recommend the Innisfree Eco Safety Daily Sunblock it's SPF 35 PA double plus and all it is water based so it is um, lighter but it does control oil a little bit better than uh, the Misha one also, you need to make sure that you wash off, um, if you're using makeup or sunscreen, you need to double cleanse the first time you need to use like a balm, a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil. You don't want sunscreen sitting on your skin um, while you're going to bed because that'll clog your pores. In terms of skincare, I did used to mention this uh, product a lot, but I know it's super hard to find for people. And if they do find it, it's kind of super pricey, especially since buying it in the Philippines where it's originally from is, is super inexpensive. It's the Kojie Sun uh, Whitening Soap. Um, there's two versions. There's the original and then there's the anti-aging. The original is all around good for um, skin lightening. It's my favorite one um, and I it doesn't peel or hurt as much as the other like papaya soap. I'm saying right now there are no bleaching ingredients in either of these. The main like whitening ingredient is the koje acid which is found in rice. There's only six ingredients and they're all natural ingredients. Kojic acid, sweet orange, virgin coconut, I think VCO stands for virgin coconut oil, glycerin, vegetable extracts, and vitamin C. So this isn't bad for your skin. Um, this is really great for evening the skin tone and lightening um, dark spots. The anti-aging version has a few more ingredients. Um, there's coconut oil, water, sodium hydroxide. There is fragrance, titanium dioxide, kojic acid, collagen, elastin, olive extract, and vitamin C. Kojic acid is more down the list, so it's probably not as effective at whitening as the other one, but this one is uh, softer and your skin feels much more moisturized after using this. So if you're going for the more effective one, I'd probably use the orange one. If you have more dry skin or you have fine lines, I'd probably go with the anti-aging one. 
In the summer, I'd probably go with this one, and in the winter, I'd probably go with this one. A good way to make sure that the whitening soaps or whatever are, if you use them on your body, um, are super effective is if you use an exfoliating washcloth. Um, I use these at least two or three times a week because it really softens my skin. It takes off all the dead skin cells. And if I use any of the whitening soaps for body wash, um, it really helps uh, make the process more effective and work faster. And one thing that uh, people tend to forget are the lips, which does darken in if you let it sit in the sun unprotected. For me, I think that one of the most aging um, things, I guess, is um, darkened lips. Now, I know there are some people that have uh, naturally darker lips, but I mean, this is for people that you know, sit out in the sun and their lips become dark because they're not protected. It's important to use a lip balm with SPF. I just use the Carmix one because it's uh, inexpensive and the cherry one smells really good. My last tip is probably one that will interest most of you. Um, it's to use a uh, whitening sunscreen on your body. This one is the Kathy Doll Whitening Sunscreen with SPF 50, PA Triple Plus, and it has L-glutathione in it, which is like a whitening ingredient. Um, I do have a review for this on my channel, which I'll link somewhere here, here, here. I don't know. It's a pretty liquidy sunscreen that um, not only protects your skin from the sun, but it um, is supposed to lighten your skin instantly. And I like it, but I find that it's so hard to blend. But what I found recently is that if I mix it with my uh, Body Shop Body Sorbet Lotion, Body Moisturizer or whatever, it blends like absolutely beautifully and it's easier to make my uh, arms or legs or whatever like white and evenly. So what I'll do is I'll, and I guess a 50-50 ratio, is apply this and this in my hand and then just rub it over wherever I need to whiten my skin or protect my skin from the sun. And I find that this helps the, the moisturizer makes the sunscreen sit better and it's not as sticky and it absorbs much faster and it looks better. You just need to make sure that you really wash it off. So that's why things like this is, are super important. Well, there you have it. There are my tips for staying paler or whiter or whatever you want in the sun. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll also write down all the products that I mentioned down below. So make sure you check the description box. I don't know what else to say. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.